YouTube channel. My name is Katie and I'm your host. I'm also the host of the How to Be a Minimalist podcast where there are over 30 episodes that you can listen to right now and hopefully they will inspire you on your minimalist journey. Today I wanted to show you how I make our cheesy fry sauce. Basically it's used for all kinds of stuff in our home. We like to serve it over rice and broccoli. We like to dip air fried french fries in it and all kinds of stuff. Oliver wants to go on a walk and that's why he's whining. So I'm gonna go ahead and take him right now and then I will get on to showing you how to make the sauce. Wanna go on a walk? What do you think? Should we do it? Yes. Before we get started with making this recipe, I wanted to give you a couple of notes. First off, my yogurt accidentally got frozen in our temperamental RV fridge. They tend to be that way. So it just looks a little bit thicker than normal. However, because I make my own cashew yogurt, which you can find the recipe, uh, hopefully I can put it on the screen somewhere around in here. That way you can click on it and make it by yourself. Because I make my own yogurt, it tends to be a little bit thicker or thinner depending on the weather, the humidity, how much water I put into it, how long the cashew soak. There are so many different variables. I find this sauce though, it turns out delicious any way you make it. The other thing is that if you purchase plant-based yogurt, you wanna make sure that it is plain and unsweetened. Otherwise, in this recipe, it will probably not taste very good at all. I have a feeling that sweetened with this would not taste good, especially if you get like strawberry. The other thing is that a purchased yogurt will probably be a thinner consistency than this. So just be aware of that and it's not a problem. It will just be a thinner sauce. are in our blender pitcher and we'll blend this until it's nice and smooth and creamy and I will show it to you when it's done. And there it is. Super creamy, delicious, and it really doesn't take hardly any time at all to make. I usually keep it on hand and I also often will park and cook um, baked potatoes in my Instant Pot. So I basically put them in there for about six minutes and then I chunk those up and air fry them. They are so good that way, just tossed with a little bit of salt. Then I dip them in this sauce, which is amazing. much for watching this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and also if you ever make this sauce please let me know I would love to hear about it in the comments down below thanks again for watching and remember it's all about the experiences not the stuff